doing this time that's a little bit different this is for the 5 sixteenths and I hardly ever get these things this is called a tungsten ball okay its size is 313 they go up every thousands and remember what I said it head bites we never size the guide totally with this I'll get it within a half thousands to a thousands where the valve will barely push in let me show you so you can understand I've already run it through all of them but one that I've saved for you so let's take a look at it let's swing around okay now now watch what I'm talking about I've already run the ball through now look here see the valve won't fit in I do that intentionally where it will barely now that right there is starting to go see now the reason why once again is I take my hand home and I can take it and size it to perfection I'll show you on the chalkboard a little bit later I'll piece it together but if you just use that ball I could go to a bigger ball right now and guess what boom it would drop right in but then it would be a little bit loose the whole purpose of putting these guides in bronze is so you can get the clearances so tight that the valve job will live forever. But let me show you how that works, boy. This right here is a pickle I mean to take. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. I left it on anyway. So I take that. All right, and then you have to set it right on exactly. You don't get it exact. Oh, my Lord. I almost lost it. Okay. This thing almost flew out of my hand. But anyway, that's supposed to be sized exactly. Now, watch what I'm talking about. One thousandths undersized. Now, look here. Still won't go through all the way. Done once again intentionally for the hone. All right, let's go ahead and break the hone out and get a pass. And let me show you how I do. Took me a little bit to set my hone and uh, set up up. I had just bought a new stick and new stuff and had to cut tabs. They've actually changed the design and it hung me up a little bit putting the new piece in. But you know you get that shit all the time. The first thing, let's turn the head the other way. It makes it a little bit better on the honing oil control. Sorry about that. Okay, this is one of the few heads that have it where I can have a better angle. But I always go in there and do an initial squirt. Uh, I do have a solvent tank with solvent 140 and a fixture. But I just ran out, and, and I used to pay $70 a barrel for it. I hadn't bought any in a couple years. It's now $450 a barrel. So temporarily right now, I'll be doing it this way. Uh, I take a intake and exhaust valve because they're honed to size. I set them to the side. Put me a little bit of a... WD on it and then I'll go in here and pull it up this there's an adjustment on it right here that tightens the guide hole up and gets it snug and then at that point right there that's when I'll go to town Your first initial pass on it, you'll feel it kind of bumpy. And then you put a little bit more pressure on it. And see, I always do it in and out. I bring it halfway out the guide. Now, after I get a couple of little hits on it, I'm going to loosen it back up. I hadn't really put a lot of pressure on it, and that's the reason I do this. You have to turn the head around come from this end if you do not do it like this 
you will taper the stone and if you taper the stone then you just the whole purpose of going to that side see how it's starting to go in the whole purpose of it you just kissed away I go in there touch a little bit there and I have to go back and forth like this until I get it where it will barely fit in there and then I got some sizing balls that I use I'll show you in just a second all right, now she's tightened up. All right, now I'm gonna stop because I haven't put a lot of pressure on it yet and the valve should almost fit through there. Okay, see what we got. All right, there's, there's resistance. See, I got it in there now. That's a great feel right there. This is going to be a 150, 200,000 mile guide and valve job, all because of the hand hone, the way that I sized it with the ball, get a good straight because you don't want no taper. I will promise no more taper from the bottom of the guide to the top than point zero, zero zero three that's three ten thousandths there'll be no more taper most of the time i can get it around two to one on a good day if i'm really taking time and really finessing i've actually hit zero on it all right let me show you what i use what i do i take my fourth digit decimal mic first thing I, i've already taken and done it i measure all four intakes all four exhaust and see if one came out of one batch to another and on this set here all, my, all of them was within a one zero 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 one so there wasn't a mix match pass now what I mean by that is sometimes what happens is if they need a valve they'll pull a valve out of a set and then one might sit back and stock for a while and when they cut them they can be off as much as a half thousands we don't want that so after I checked them all, and I know that I got them within a tenth, I usually come right around the center, and I'll hit it, and the number that I come up with here is 312, I turn the micrometer over, and I eight. All right? I then hold it in this hand right here. I think, you, I think you're able to see me move the valves over, and then I'll take and see if I can get a pull. All right, it's not touching yet. I actually have a, a bench vise, but it's, it's behind me, so what I'm gonna do, I tighten it up where I can barely get a feel, right, right there. Now watch this. I get the same feel on these balls that I get, um, on the um, I'm trying to do this for the camera that's what's messing me up I need to put it on the bench vise I will in just a second all right right there now what I'll end up with is just a certain amount of pull and that's going to equal that is the measurement right there actually it needs to be a touch looser that I picked off of the valve stem see so this measurement is true, meaning this ball is true. I then take the ball, okay, I then take the ball, put it in here, and I'm supposed to get, see, it's tight there, it's, it's loose, all right, I got a little bit to go, just a touch, till I can get the ball where it'll barely pull through. They do make a dial board type gauge. It's $1,500. The place I worked at before had one. This setup is relatively inexpensive, but I put all my money on the hone all. Uh, I believe it was $1,500 with all the tooling that I got for honing it. So, but I am deadly accurate using this ball method and this gauge you develop a feel you can be surprised i took the dial board gauge and went against this and there wasn't 
but a tenth and a half difference from my field measurement here to one of them high dollar line home gauges. So be honest with y'all, I never got it. 24 years of doing this, you get your fills. But this is how I get it, and I can control the fill at the top turn around over hit the other side at the bottom but the trick is constantly rotating the cylinder head now after i've done that the last thing i do to make sure that the uh the stones are straight this honol kit come with this little device it's a little cylinder sleeve and it's some kind of hard carbide well, it's perforated so that you got it where your hands can hold on to it. And you slide this through like so. And then you tighten it up. All right. I usually douse just a little bit of WD on it. Then I hold it and I watch. Look what I got. I got to do it like this. I got to tighten it up some more. And you know, you can actually feel if it's looser or tighter. You can, I swear, y'all, you can actually feel the taper. So I hold on to this. Halfway in, halfway out. Give it a couple of passes. My, my MO or modus operandi is that uh, I go in here, take that off, turn the stone up. And if all the copper is gone, which it is now, guess what? I know that I got a perfectly straight stone. The copper comes off into the stone. If I pull it out and I see a little bit of copper here and stone here, that's just telling me I got taper in it. So what I'm doing is I'm double checking the taper in the guide, the taper in the stone by using this and the ball. So I've got kind of a triple check system. There is no way that my guide work is going to be second to none to anybody. It's not brand new machines or state of the art where they can do it in 15 minutes. It takes me about four or five hours. That's the difference. They can do it faster, but they can't do it better. All right, that's on the guides now. I'll go ahead and finish that up. Then we got to get to the final part, the valve job and resetting the bowls. This little Volvo head's been a lot of fun and it's had plenty of thicknesses. Oh, let me show you the map.